I hear he's a good man and a great reformer. <laughs> Every Bridgerton sibling in Julia Quinn's series of historical romance novels has a wonderful story. But there is one story that fans can't seem to wait to be adapted into the series, and that is the inevitable romance for one of the younger Bridgerton siblings, Francesca. What will happen with Francesca's story? Who will play her love interest? And is her story one of the steam and is her story one of the steamiest ones? Fans of Francesca and her book When He Was Wicked are getting excited, and rightfully so. The news of Ruby Stokes' recast has been making waves. And many fans believe the decision to recast the character means Francesca will start to have a bigger role in the series. Francesca, who left Bridgerton because of a scheduling conflict with Lockwood & Co., another Netflix production. Hannah Dodd will be taking over the role of Francesca Bridgerton, and fans are looking forward to see her interpretation of this character, especially after fans fell in love with her performance as Sarah Chapman in Enola Holmes 2. One fan tweeted, Sarah Chapman and Lady Cicely in Enola Holmes 2 to Francesca Bridgerton in Bridgerton 3? Me hard Hannah Dodd. Hannah Dodd is just as excited as we are for Francesca's story. She said, It's such a beautiful book, and she's such a beautiful character. I can't really believe that I get to play her. Well, we can't wait to see you play her. One fan tweeted, I just saw Enola Holmes too, and Hannah Dodd was amazing. She will do very well as Francesca in Bridgerton. P.S. Every time she and Henry Cavill appeared on screen, I could only think of Michael and Francesca. And this leads us right into one of the big questions going around about Francesca's story coming to the screen. Who will play Michael Sterling? One of the most popular fan choices to portray Michael Sterling as Hannah Dodd's Enola Holmes 2 co-star Henry Cavill, who plays Sherlock Holmes in that series of films. One fan shared pictures of Henry Cavill and Hannah Dodd together with the caption, Michael Sterling and Francesca Bridgerton, colorized. Fans are also sharing a clip of the pair in Enola Holmes 2 so they can elaborate on the chemistry Henry Cavill and Hannah Dodd could have as Michael and Francesca. But who else are fans of Francesca and Michael choosing for this exciting role? One of the names that has come up among fans is Oliver Jackson Cohen who is most known for his work with Mike Flanagan in The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor, which are also Netflix shows. He also has appeared in a Regency romance, Mr. Malcolm's List. Another fan cast that is becoming popular is Callum Kerr, who has starred in Zomboat, Hollyoaks, and Monarch. One fan shared pictures of Kerr just with the caption, Michael Sterling, and fans have responded with their enthusiasm for the choice. Some fans want Bridgerton to bring one of the most popular cast members from Stranger Things to play Michael Sterling. Many fans have expressed an interest in seeing Joseph of Quinn play Michael. Quinn played the fan favorite character Eddie Munson in the most recent season of Stranger Things. One fan said, I heard someone say that Joseph Quinn should play Michael Sterling in Bridgerton and I am here for it. And some fans think this could be likely, since Nicola Coughlin liked a post from a fan suggesting Joseph Quinn should be in Bridgerton as Michael Sterling. But why are fans so excited to see this story adapted to the screen? What sets Francesca's story apart from her siblings? Francesca's story begins with her marriage to John Sterling, the Earl of Kilmartin. John was close friends with his cousin Michael, but Michael was in love with Francesca, but he remained friends with the married couple. After two years of marriage, John dies in his sleep, and Francesca discovers she's pregnant, but she has a miscarriage. After John's death, Michael becomes Earl, and because he does not remarry, Francesca keeps doing her duties as Countess. Both Michael and Francesca mourn John's death, and their friendship does not blossom until another time jump four years later. During these four years, Michael lived in India in an effort to handle his grief about John's passing and the pressures that came with becoming the Earl. After spending years doing her duties and grieving her husband's abrupt death, Francesca decides she wants something more out of life, and she begins her search to find a husband and have children. The romance between Francesca and Michael is a more mature story, dealing with the hardships of grief and finding a second chance at love. Some fans wonder if this story might change because the Netflix adaptation released an outline for a new character that feels too similar to Francesca's story. The description of Lady Tilly Arnold reads, Widowed at an early age, she enjoys the privileges and power that comes with being at the helm of her former husband's estate, living life on her own terms with financial independence and sexual freedom. Tilly Arnold will be played by Hannah New, who starred in Black Sails. This new character could take even more focus away from Francesca, and fans are already disappointed with how little she's featured in the series already. One fan tweeted, Okay, but like, in Bridgerton season 3, can my girl Francesca Bridgerton please get a storyline? Or at least keep her around and let her have some substantive scenes? The fact that so many show watchers forget she even exists. Fans are scared that we may never get Francesca's romance in the series. One fan tweeted, I am so afraid of the possibility that we might not have Francesca Bridgerton's story on screen. The world deserves to know and love and be completely enamored with Michael Sterling. He's the most precious human being and therefore deserves every 
every beating heart on Earth. Fans love the maturity and emotion of When He Was Wicked and can't wait to see this novel adapted. Bridgerton has its fair share of steamy, sexy, romantic moments, but many fans believe When He Was Wicked is one of the steamiest books across the entire series and cannot wait to see these scenes depicted on screen. Pop Sugar made a ranking of the sexiest Bridgerton books, and When He Was Wicked took the number one spot. The series had some amazing, shockingly sensual moments so far, and we cannot wait to see what scenes they choose to bring to the screen when adapting this one. Fans definitely agree about Francesca's book. One fan tweeted, Francesca's is the steamiest, sexiest story in all of the eight books in the series, and I can't wait for season six, if there still is. When He Was Wicked is well regarded throughout the fandom as the hottest Bridgerton book, so we hope the television adaptation does not disappoint in this regard. Give us some of the best, sexiest Bridgerton moments when Francesca and Michael take center stage. We know it'll be a long wait, but it'll be so worth it. Maybe we won't have to wait as long as we think to meet John and Michael Sterling. Francesca's story involves multiple years of time jumps. Francesca's story in When He Was Wicked begins when she marries John Sterling. Francesca and John are married for two years before he dies, so we could meet this character sooner than we think. Could John Sterling be introduced in season three, setting up Francesca's story? in the future? If the entirety of Francesca's romance from When He Was Wicked happens in a single season, we would lose a lot of time in the stories of the other characters. Setting up her story earlier, alongside the central romance of season 3 between Colin and Penelope, would allow the bulk of Francesca's story to be told in her own season, after setting up what happens before either one or both time jumps. Francesca's story involves a second time jump, which takes us four years into the future. It would make sense to have John's death take place in another season, so we can experience their grief as we wait for the story to continue. And we can jump right into Michael and Francesca's budding relationship after his return from India, when we get to Francesca's season. And doing so would allow the grief Francesca and Michael feel about John's death to build throughout multiple seasons. So by the time their romance is told in their own season, we know the characters, we feel their pain, and we can truly feel their second chance at love. One fan responded to the news that season three will focus on Colin and Penelope by tweeting, I'm hoping it means we at least get a chance to see Benedict and Sophie's story launched, as well as Francesca's, since hers involves a serious time jump. With both Benedict and Francesca's stories involving time jumps, it would not be unexpected to see the beginnings of their romances established in season three. When He Was Wicked, the Bridgerton book focusing on Francesca, is a fan favorite, and we hope to get a glimpse into the romance between Michael and Francesca before their solo season, which could be a long time from now. Do you hope to see John and Michael Sterling introduced in season three or four? Are you excited to see Francesca get more storylines in Bridgerton? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all our videos about your favorite movies and TV shows.